to another episode of Dad and Andrew's Garage. What do we got today, son? A bone shaker. Right on. That's right. The bone shaker. I've been wanting to do one of these for a long time. I know that uh, there's a lot of people that have done them and have done some really cool things with it. So hopefully we can do something cool with it. What do you say we get it up on the rotating car sand and take a look what we got? Yeah. All right. All right, folks, and here we are, Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. It looks like we have one that uh, has a flat roof and uh, one that has an open roof. What do you think, son? Yeah, wait, why are they multiplying? <laughs> That's right. We can leave one bone shaker around for a long time, and suddenly you get two bone shakers, it seems. Probably they had a baby. Oh, my, you never know. <laughs> well, in any event, uh, yeah, we would like to do something with this because, like I say, it's a really cool casting. Uh, you know, it has that fun hot rod feel to it. And I know a lot of people, uh, you know, either like the skulls or don't like the skulls on the front. Uh, I'm sort of on the fence. Uh, I think it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, I also like the traditional look. So we're going to see what we can do and uh, which bone shaker we're going to uh, work on. So, uh, yeah, what do you think there, son? Yeah, it's either we are going to restore one, two, or the other one's just going to keep on multiplying. <laughs> I guess so. Well, you know, if it's multiplying, we don't have to buy anymore. That's a good thing. Anywho. We'll uh, get started on the restoration, so we'll stick around and we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Well, all right, everybody. We decided, we talked about it a little bit, and I think we're going to do a mashup between the bone shaker here and this crazy-looking vehicle, which I believe is called the Great Gadspeed. Kind of a look of a uh, some kind of old sedan, but uh, <laughs> a little on a strange side. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think that... Uh, front just has this tank-like look to it, but it's got this neat little uh, buggy uh, affair in the back. So yeah, maybe there's a way we can uh, meld these two together. So I think that's what we're going to get started on. So uh, stay tuned and uh, let's see if we can have some fun here. All right, well, we've uh, taken them apart here, drilled them apart. So let's see what we're working with on this. Oh, there we go. Well, we have a uh, Pretty much a whole solid uh, seat engine uh, and rear gas tank sort of affair in all chrome with the skull grill. These uh, kind of funky pink tires, or purple anyway, <laughs> and uh, the one-piece body. So uh, yeah, pretty straightforward casting, and a little bit different on this one, on the Gadsby, on the, uh, the Gad Speed. And yeah, we got the top here, which is, uh, yeah, pretty much one straight piece uh, with this weird wing on the side. I, know, I think I've seen one online and the wing is painted silver. Uh, yeah, we also got the engine and on this side is uh, this great set of pipe. Well, this one pipe on this side. So that's kind of cool. And of course, a little bucket for the seats and of course the base. So yeah, with all this, we should be able to put something together that would be kind of cool. So uh, yeah, now we're going to have to get to the conceptualizing and uh, chopping phase and see what we can do. So. Stay tuned, and we'll see what we can get put together from all these bits and pieces. Okay, folks, after much cutting and grinding, we got the back of the Great Gad Speed off and uh, the front of the Bone Shaker here. And I think what we're going to do is marry these two together like this. So hopefully we're going to get a nice little sedan-like affair. I've already scuffed these up, so all we have to do now is get it inside the stripper. So in they go. Pour a bit of stripper on here. Here we are. Get her started. Oop, yeah. and, uh, make sure it gets on all bits and pieces. And then we'll let the stripper do its stuff. We'll also have to get some inside as well. There's little bits and pieces and corners on these castings. So yeah, we'll let that do its stuff. And we also have to get the bases glued together here. So this is the base of the GAD speed and the base of the bone shaker. So what we're going to do is glue those two together, which will fit the body. And hopefully this build will look okay. We're still sort of undecided about the uh, front part here. Do we want to keep this cool skull or do we want to swap it out? So uh, maybe I'll discuss that with Andrew, but uh, right now it's past his bedtime. So <laughs> we'll discuss and see where we're going to go with this. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, folks, and here we are. So, looks like uh, we did some nice uh, sanding and polishing here to the uh, front of the bone shaker. So, that looks good. 
and also the rear of the GAD speed, which will fit right on the back here, as we said before. But yeah, so we've done the stripping. Now all you do is get the glue set up and glue this to the rear and maybe put a bit of JB Weld on so we can fill up some gaps and hopefully that will turn out well. We also glued together the two bases. So this will be the length of the car. Have to get some paint down on that. As you can see, there's a color variation, gray and black. So I'll have to make sure that's one color. And uh, we are still deciding on the chrome piece here. I know the interior probably won't stay chrome, but the engine and skull, that's the big, uh, that's the big guess for me. <laughs> Do we want to keep that or uh, change it to a different, slightly different shade? So we'll uh, continue on with the uh, Enterprise here and uh, see where it leads up. So stay tuned. All right, everyone. Well, looks like we have the axle tubes inside our chassis here. And I actually broke the chassis again trying to get the axle tubes in while grinding, but we managed to get it back together. We got the old uh, JB Weld keeping the axle tubes in, so this will be good. We should be able to get a uh, nice rolling action on our car. Further, the uh, Super Clean behind us here has done a great job of taking all the chrome off of our engine and skull and seat assembly. So yeah, it's pretty dark, but uh, it uh, yeah, it, we'll have to start again with uh, doing a kind of a nice paint on this, and I'm looking at something not as chromey, but still nice and silver. I think that would go with the current uh, sort of configuration and the paint we're going to put on it. So also it'll match the rims. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like also our uh, body here is uh, nice and together with some JB Weld, so we'll do some sanding after that. And then we should be good to get this into the paint store or the paint shop. <laughs> so stay tuned, folks. All right, folks. Well, looks like we uh, did our final bit of uh, sanding and uh, steel wooling here to get the casting uh, good and smooth so we can accept some paint. So hopefully that JB Well has been given a nice little sand down. And when we put the self-hatching primer on, hopefully she'll look good. And we have also put a nice coat of black paint here on the base, so we might be putting a bit of the chrome paint on this, but we'll see uh, when we start putting every test fitting everything together. And the last thing here, of course, just put a little bit of degreaser on this casting so that we can get it ready for paint. And stay tuned, and let's see what we get. All right, folks, and here we are. We've got a nice set of big booties on the back here. And uh, they are pretty good. And we're also going to use this uh, nice small uh, set of wheels on the front, which I think will complement it well. These are actually rear tires for an M2 uh, vehicle. It had a few extras, but uh, I think they go well as a front tire in the bone shaker. So what I'm going to do is uh, get this axle here and uh, get it into the wheel here so that we can take it and insert it into the tube here. There we are. And get the other one on the other side. And once this is done, and a couple more little details, I think we'll be ready to uh, get this thing put together. So stay tuned. All right, everybody. And just for comparison purposes, here is what our bone shaker used to look like before we give it the Dad and Andrews garage modification. What do you think, son? Yeah, it looks good, but it looks a lot better now. That's right. Well, without further ado, let's get ready for the reveal. Right on. All right, everybody, and here we are, our brand new amalgamated bone shaker and great gad speed. What are we calling it, Andrew? Bone speeder. That's right, the bone speeder. Yeah, well, we gave this thing a total new paint job, two-tone, and uh, some nice great wheels for it. And uh, yeah, I thought since this is our first uh, bone shaker, I thought we'd keep the skull. But we didn't want to make it so chromey, so we gave it a, a kind of a gunmetal look, which I think, uh, think complements it a little better. And, uh, yeah, all in all, I think it all worked out well. What do you think, son? Yeah, I made, I made up the name. <laughs> That's right, he did. And what do you think of the overall look of it? It looks really sick. Get the Ant-Man tool, make it life-size. <laughs> That's right. Well, it'd be cool to have a life-size one of these. But uh, we'll have to settle for the small one now. <laughs> Anyways, folks, uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, this build as much as uh, we enjoyed making the car. Uh, well, and don't forget, we have a number of uh, good builds coming up, which we'll show at the end. 
And uh, we want to thank all our new subscribers and all our old subscribers because we really enjoy the comments and uh, we hope uh, that you enjoy the videos. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. Yeah. We will soon reach 100. Yeah, and we'll have to do something special if that ever happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, folks, uh, we'd like to say thanks again uh, for uh, watching the vid and uh, stay tuned for our upcoming builds. And remember, if you like what you see, like and subscribe and smash that like button. Right on. Take care, folks, and stay safe. Goodbye. Bye-bye.